been a very interesting journey, if you ask me personally. Uh, when we started WCC, we were just 17 of us, you know, standing up to help our friend. But then when we started sitting together, talking with each other, we kind of addressed... Fighting with each other. Fighting, you have no clue. <laughs> But then I guess that's how you find your space, right? You know, you understand what are the class structures within, us, within cinema. We understand our privileges. I think it all starts from there. See, the very fact somebody asking a woman to do it, like I wish a touch of a man would be a touch of a Rama on a squirrel. We could find the marks. But these marks are deeper than flesh. You may not intend it. But you cannot deny that she was hurt. You can't say, no, you, she was not hurt. I mean, how dare you say that? This is this attitude. And people who are silent, they're actually very loud. Silence speaks. Silence expresses. It is not what you speak. It is what you stand for. Every other corporate, I mean, I work in the corporate space. I work in the government space. Everywhere you'll have a disclaimer saying it's an equal opportunity space. We never say that. We don't invest in our human resources. We have amazing actors like Prakash Raj, even Amitabh Bachchan at some point. We don't even value them until and unless they're in the so-called limelight. The entire valuation of human resources is so absent. And the process of filmmaking is so rested between a few that, and then I say a few, I'm not talking about superstars again. I'm talking about if you're making a film with a newcomer, male newcomer also, that entire process is just restricted to a few. How are you going to ever make a good film? How are you ever going to make a diverse, equal film?